Hello and welcome to weekly strategic finance tips from the Startup Station. So today we're going to talk about uh, what to do if you screwed up and how should you make sure that you're not going to lose your company as a result. So these are uh, some facts. More than 90% of all startups will fail and most of that will occur in the two to five year mark. So the chance that you're going to make a mistake is very high, right? That's a fact. We know that. Uh, and every startup founder who's achieved anything, we know for a fact made tons of mistakes because otherwise you don't learn, right? If you don't try new things, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to launch a new product. You're not going to find out what the customer thinks. So if you don't try, you're not going to succeed. And if you try, of course, sometimes you will be wrong. And more than 70% of all startups pivot, which means that whatever ideas you had in the beginning, most likely are not going to be exactly what your business will end up being, right? Most likely they will change. So it is a fact, right? I said before that you will screw up in some way, okay? And it's not a big deal, okay? So <laughs> what should you do now? And uh, <laughs> well, what you should do now is not panic, right? You should admit your mistake, understand why it happened, and take responsibility say this is what we're going to do and get the help that you need to execute you know it's not really um a magic bullet here right you just need to be honest i think the trick here is to recognize that you made a mistake as early as possible so that you don't waste too much time and capital um in order to correct that mistake. And in order to do that, you need to have all your processes in place, including the financial infrastructure. It's really the finance that can tell you very quickly what's going on. And if you have your stuff done right, like we do at the startup station, you will be able to react fast to market feedback and avoid the fallout from any course of action needs to be corrected. Now, what do you tell the board? Right? So you need to be honest and transparent and take responsibility for your decisions, right? You cannot run away, you can't um, make things look better than they are, you know, like you can't be fearful, you know, they, these people who gave you money, you know, most of them have built businesses, so they funded other businesses, they've seen it all, they've seen other people make mistakes, and they've seen other people emerge as winners, so they expect you in a way to have to change course, right, to be wrong, because it, it's just part of building a company, but if you don't, um, acknowledge that, right? Then that builds mistrust, that builds misalignment, and that increases your chances of being pushed out. So after you realize and you recognize what you've done, you need to present a clear course of action, right? And get their buy-in, right? You need to get them on the same page, just like when you pitched your business and you got them on board with your vision and you got their buy and you got their money now when the course has to change a little bit because some things did not go as planned you also need their support right and you need to ask for their advice because who knows you just have one brain their uh, vision of the world their experience may be different they may just offer you something that will be extremely valuable and why you want to do this Right. Because, you know, a lot of the times founders, you know, they look at the board as the obstacle, as a nuisance, as a necessary evil, instead of looking at it as an incredible resource of really smart people. It's very important who's on the board, therefore, right? because they're so integral to uh, making your company a success. You uh, want to get everybody on board so that you don't have problems with these people, right? They, what if you need more capital? What if you need them to pass a certain decision, right? Which requires their vote. You want them to be in this journey with you, not against you, right? You want them to be on the same page. You want them to trust you, right? Because what if there are, you know, more mistakes happening? Or what if something else that happens that you need from them, right? You want them to trust you. And, and finally, you know, they can help you, right? Like I said before. And so for all of these reasons, it is okay that you will do something wrong. It is expected. What is not okay is to avoid responsibility. What is not okay is not to face the facts. What is not okay is to be um, shady or non-transparent. But if you're not those things, you will be perfectly fine. And in fact, every opportunity will just 
be a way for you to grow further and to grow your company. And here you go. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please share with your friends and colleagues and other startups. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful content and strategic financial tips next week. And follow us on social media. Every week we post a lot of really useful content. And um, this can really help you move your business forward. See you next week.